Any comments on the, the IC, AC um, destination at I think all Australians are just sick to death of day-in, day-out reports from ICAC uh, in New South Wales of the level to which both Liberal and Labor politicians are up to their necks in the deals that are being done. It's very clear that political donations buy access to political parties. It's clear that money has been laundered through uh, the federal uh, part of political parties to get around the prohibition on property developer donations in New South Wales. And it's sick for the environment because what we're seeing is people giving new coal licences and CSG licences all with this revolving door between Liberal and Labor politicians and coal and CSG companies. It's got to stop. The Greens want a national ICAC. The community want a national ICAC. It's got to stop. We, how can we live in a democracy when people can funnel money secretly, hide it, either through funneling it through different organisations, setting up third party organisations, uh, you know, North Sydney Forum or this uh, New Enterprise Foundation, so that nobody ever finds out who's putting the money up, who they're meeting. It's just disgraceful. We have to actually restore our strength in our democracy, and that means a national ICAC. To date, Labor and Liberal and National Party have opposed the Greens' moves for a national ICAC. Well, I think the community is now totally on the side of the Greens, saying it's about time we had a national ICAC. We are sick of what is clearly dodgy dealings, and the stories get murkier and murkier as ICAC goes on. And if we didn't have an ICAC in New South Wales, we wouldn't know it's going on. In other states, they have various integrity commissions or corruption uh, commissions, but they're very weak. They don't have teeth. Here in Tasmania, the one that we have is very weak. We need a national ICAC with real teeth so that white-collar crime is exposed, so that the dealings in back rooms are exposed. That's the Greens leader, Christine Milne, repeating the Greens' calls for a national corruption watchdog.